In this video, we'll introduce the use of shapefiles in TechPlot 360. For datasets that represent a geographic region, a shapefile can give additional context to help communicate the location of your data. In this video, we'll demonstrate the use of a Python script to convert a shapefile to TechPlot binary data format. Here, we are looking at pressure contours from a simulation of Hurricane Katrina. Without knowing that it's Hurricane Katrina, it's difficult to tell where we are in the world. A shapefile will help make the region we are looking at more obvious. Prerequisites are that you have a 64-bit version of Python and the PyTechPlot and PyShape Python modules installed. From a command prompt, execute the script as such. The script will then prompt you for some additional information. First, convert to a single zone or one zone per shape. In this case, we have a shapefile that represents the entire United States, where each state is a separate shape. If we convert this file to one zone per shape, we'll have one zone per state. This will allow us to turn on and off individual states and color them differently. Second, choose the variable names to use. Note that the script does not make any coordinate transformations. If your shapefile is in UTM or state plane, it's likely that you're displaying your data using XY variables, so you should select XY. If your shapefile is in longitude latitude coordinates, you should select lon lat as the exported variable names. In this case, our shapefile is in lon lat, and we're displaying our data in lon lat as well, so we'll select option 2. Finally, when choosing a separate zone per shape, the script will also prompt you for which shapefile record column to use to name the zones. It will display the column name and the first shapefile entry. This selection is critical to the ability to identify each shape while in TechPlot 360. In this case, we'll choose option 5, which will give each shape the name of the state. Now that we've converted the shapefile to TechPlot PLT format, we can append it to the dataset. Now that the shapefile data is loaded, we'll activate the mesh layer so we can see the shapefile information. This presents a much more clear picture of the region and the path of the hurricane. If we fit the data to the screen, we can see the entire United States. Because we imported each state as a separate zone, we can deactivate any zones that are outside of our region of interest. This concludes the tutorial on using shapefiles in TechPlot 360. Thank you for watching.